It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be solving a nonlinear system of equations. Here's our question today. The system of equations has one solution. So this system has a quadratic equation and a linear equation. And we're asked which of the following is the solution of the system of equations. So let's clear our workspace and find our one solution to this nonlinear system. So when we do this, we, I can see that y is equal to the expression x squared subtract 3. So I'm going to use substitution. I'm going to take this expression and put it in for y, seeing as y is equal to x squared minus 3. So when I rewrite this y as x squared minus 3, I have an equation with one variable, just x. So now let's get all terms to the left side of the equation. We're going to subtract 2x from each side of the equation, leaving me x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to negative 4 because this is a zero pair. Now we're going to add 4 to each side so that we have all terms on the left. So when I do that, I'm going to have x squared minus 2x, negative 3 and 4 is positive 1, leaving me 0 on the right. And now I'm ready to factor my quadratic. So let's clear our workspace. So I can tell that this is a special product, that 1 is a perfect square. So negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, and negative 1x and negative 1x are negative 2x. So this is why it has only one solution. So I'm going to use the zero product property and say that x minus 1 is equal to 0. If one of these factors is 0, this is true. So add 1 to each side to solve for x, and we get that x is equal to 1. And now we're ready to solve for y. So if x is equal to 1, I can take either equation and replace x with 1. So let's take the linear equation. Replace x with 1. y equals 2 times 1, subtract 4. So 2 subtract 4 is negative 2. So my ordered pair, my solution, is 1, negative 2. If I graphed these two equations, the quadratic and the line would intersect at this point in the coordinate plane. So let's answer our question. The one solution of the system of nonlinear equations is 1, negative 2, which is answer choice C. Thanks for joining me at The Magic of Math. I hope you'll subscribe. Have a great day.